I want to talk about growth mindset. What is it? Well, a mindset is fundamentally nothing to do with how much you learn, the way you're taught, anything like that. It's all to do with what you believe you can achieve. Now, research backs up what I'm going to tell you. People with a closed mindset believe that their intelligence, their talent, their future, what they can achieve in life is predetermined. And research has shown that they will achieve less, even though they may be just as intelligent and just as talented, as someone with a growth mindset. Somebody with a growth mindset believes that they can achieve a lot. I'm not saying they're going to be world champions, but they can achieve a lot based on hard work, the right attitude to say, I can learn, I can try to learn, I can do my best, I can get better. Now that may seem obvious, but we as parents do give subtle hints to our children, or sometimes not so subtle hints, as to what their mindset should be, a growth one or a closed one. Now, my particular interest, obviously, as you know, is mathematics and teaching maths. And on the mathsfactor.com, which is my online maths school, during lockdown, half a million primary age children were registered with us and we, we taught them and they achieved a lot. They did extremely well. And one of the principles of the maths factor, and it's just very dear to my heart, is that we give our children the growth mindset. We tell them they can. Now, obviously, you and I know that some learn faster than others. That's just life. But they can still learn. And certainly, they can all learn and all achieve up to a GCSE in maths. I believe that because I know it to be true. So in maths, a lot of us as adults have been given over the years and set as children this closed mindset to maths in particular. I've been told that around one in five adults suffer with this, but from you know, the last 40 years of my life, since when I started on television doing maths, people have come to me every day and talked about their relationship with numbers and uh, learning mathematics and arithmetic particularly. And I think it's a lot more than one in five, actually. I think it's probably around half of the population believe in their mindset that they can't do it that they have some ceiling on their mathematical ability. That is not true. That is about a mindset being given to you. So it could be that you weren't taught properly in school. You weren't taught well. Your teacher wasn't a very good teacher. It could be all of those things. It could also be that your parents said to you, oh, I hate maths. Oh, I don't like maths. Oh, you don't want to be doing that. Oh, that's wrong. And everything is a negative. On the maths factor, and believe me, I have now taught hundreds and hundreds of thousands of children with this method. We say, you can, and I'm going to teach you step by step how to do it. Now, you are a very important part of that process, whether you use the maths factor or whether you don't. I want you to say to your children, you can. You can say, oh, can you teach me? What, how do you do your subtractions? Because you know, the method that's used now is probably different to the one you were taught in school. So how do you do that? Rather than, oh, you don't do it that way, I can't do it. It's that whole word about can't that we want to, to get rid of, basically. Um, there's a lot on my website. We have a lot of hints and tips and games and things that you can, you can play with your children. Uh, uh, and to reset your knowledge to on the mathsfactor.com. Uh, it's about a pound a week, but you can get a 21 day free trial if you don't want to pay for that. So there's plenty there and you can go in, you can have a look and take the best bits for you if that's what you want to do. But please, as far as maths is concerned, believe me that your mindset influences your child's mindset with maths. So please make it a gentle, but positive one, anything, 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 but negative. Mm -hmm.